Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's Egal Talks Football, and I'm back again with another video. You're speaking to Egal right here, and I'm going to give you guys my predictions for the Champions League. Before we go any further, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get this show started, and I'm going to be talking about Bayern Munich, Arsenal, PSG, and uh, oh, sorry, let, let's just look at the actual draw and who everybody got before we go any further. And don't forget, W's in the shot. W's in the chat, guys. Let's get the show started. Let's get let's hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get the show started. So first things first, this is the round. Uh, this is the quarterfinals. I was gonna say round of sixteen because we never get past the round of sixteen. But this is the quarterfinals, and you got Atletico Madrid, Dortmund, PSG, Barcelona, Arsenal, Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, Manchester City. So we're gonna break them down. So first, let's begin with Atletico Madrid v Dortmund. And and I'm what I'm going to say about this tie is the favorites, are, in my opinion, are Atletico Madrid. I don't think too many people are going to sit here and tell you that Dortmund are favorites over Atletico Madrid. Dortmund are probably the, I would say, the weakest side out of the remaining teams, in my opinion. I would say Dortmund, then PSG. But, but yeah, Atletico Madrid is probably stylistically one of the worst teams to play. The way they play football, the way that they grind out results, they've only conceded like 13, uh, 31 goals in the league. But this year, Real Madrid have been much better defensively also, only conceding 18. But we're going to get on to Real Madrid in a bit. Uh, the, thing about, the thing about Dortmund is Dortmund also this season have only conceded 31 goals. So that's interesting in the league to think that a team, uh, but of course it is two separate leagues. Let's see what they both did in their group stages. I'm just looking at, I'm just looking at it right here. I'm looking at, I'm looking at Atletico Madrid. They topped their group, if I'm not mistaken. Dortmund topped their group. They uh, Atletico Madrid topped their group with 14 points. Dortmund topped their group with 11 points. It's a situation where when you look at, when you look at that, you say to yourself, who is the better side? Who is going to be the side that wins it all from, from these two? And I'm looking at Dortmund. I'm looking at Atletico Madrid. And I'm just saying, stylistically, I think Atletico Madrid is the type of team that would give Dortmund a lot of trouble. And I would edge it to an Atletico Madrid in that tie. So for the first bracket, I'm going to give it to Atletico Madrid. Uh, I'm going to give Atletico Madrid the edge there. And I'm going to give it to them. So let me just... Put this back on the screen. There you go. So Atletico Madrid is the first one. Then we go to Barcelona PSG. Uh, Barcelona versus PSG. Barcelona versus PSG. How are we going to do this? Let me, let me once again go to the title sponsor of today's show, Sofa Score, and I'm, and that's and that's where we're going to kind of break down what we're looking at. So if you guys don't know, this is the uh, this is the best football app on the planet so you guys can go download it the link is in the description so we've already gone through and looked at the we've already gone through and looked at some of the uh some of the games let's look at the let's look at the next one so what's that playing in the background you got the quarterfinals the quarterfinals who do we have we have the likes uh we now have the likes of psg so let's look at psg psg our top of their group, PSG have conceded 21 goals in their league, and of course have 50 uh, have 56 goals. But in the Champions League this season, they finished below Dortmund as they only scored eight goals and conceded uh, uh, conceded eight goals and scored nine. They they drew two, lost two, and won two. They squeaked by. They squeaked by. As as for as for the likes of as for the likes of Barca. Barca is a whole different story. Barcelona this season in the league have been extremely poor. They're currently third, and they've conceded a lot of goals. And they 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 looked good at times. They were top of the league at some point, but they topped their group in the Champions League. And of course, that was a quite easy group. So I'm looking at Barcelona, and I'm saying to myself, Barcelona are not as good as they used to be. PSG are not as good as they were under when they had the likes of Mbappe and everything else. In the in this tie, 
Who do I think is the clear favorites? I think this is a very close tie. It's much closer than the Atletico Madrid Dortmund tie. So I'm going to actually edge it to the difference maker in Mbappe being the difference maker between Barcelona and PSG. Overall, I, I value both teams very similarly, but I would just say the difference maker will be Mbappe in that tie and he'll get them through. Now, Bayern Munich, Arsenal. This is going to be this is going to be a difficult one. Let's let's first look at Bayern. I uh, I personally am excited about this because we now get to test ourselves against some of the best in Europe. And as as bad as 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 bad as Bayern have been, they're still second in their league and and not too far from uh, they're they're ten points off. So this season, they're not going to probably run away with the league like they usually do. But you never know. Bayern Munich could still claw it back. Uh, I hope they don't, though. I'd love to see Leverkusen win and Granit Xhaka do their thing. But yeah, the the narrative is going to be if Arsenal beat them, that they haven't had a good season. But they did top their group in, in a group with Manchester United, Galatasaray, and Copenhagen. So, And they did play well in the group stages, only conceding six goals and scoring 12, winning five, drawing one. As bad as they've been in the league, in the Champions League, they haven't lost a game this season. So you cannot take them lightly at all. You'd be foolish to take them lightly. As for Arsenal, let's check Let's check out Arsenal quickly. Arsenal. We know Arsenal are currently top of the league in the Premier League, but it is a three-horse race, and it's much closer than, than the title races in other leagues. So you, it's still very unpredictable. Arsenal did top the group. Uh, conceding four, scoring 16, losing one game to Lunds, drawing one game to PSV, and winning the other four. So we have had a strong Champions League, but this this will come down to this will come down to who has the better players on the day. It will come down to who performed better, and also Bayern Munich will not have their fans for the away leg, as that is going to be a massive deal, also as Bayern Munich will not have their fans for the away leg. And, and reason being, because of the Lazio game where they where they put flares out and ended up uh, ended up causing disruption to the game. Now you have a situation where they've they've basically been barred from from having any games. So it's going to be uh, it's uh, having any fans for that upcoming uh, fixtures. So it's going to be interesting. And they did make it a tough tie for themselves, as we did also versus Porto. Uh, they they ended up going through 3-1 at the end, but they did lose the first game like Arsenal did lose the first game to Porto. So it's going to be interesting. April 9th, we uh, we face off and it's going to the first game is going to be at the Emirates. Hopefully we beat them and and we and we have a strong performance in the first game. And I do believe Arsenal will get through versus Porto. Uh, sorry, Arsenal will get through versus Bayern Munich. What am, what was I talking about? <laughs> I'm out here mumbling like uh, like like Stormzy. As no, I, I promise, like and even even it's it, it was it's been a weird it's, these past few months and me, knowing I'm... <laughs> that that clip always gets me. But yeah, I do believe Arsenal will get through. I look at Bayern and I just say to myself, they are a strong team. They have the Champions League heritage, but they just have, have not been that convincing to me this season. Where Arsenal, I just feel like we're a young, hungry team, and the experience can get you so far. But the fact that we have, uh, um, I feel like is a is a well oiled machine at this moment in time will just be enough to get through. I don't think it's going to be a, a, an an easy tie, but it's going to be a close one. I would say it's going to be much closer than the, the likes of Atletico Dortmund, and and it's going to be very similar to. Uh, Paris or and Barcelona, but yeah, let's get on to the last one. This one here, Real Madrid, Man City. This is going to be a very difficult tie to predict, as Real Madrid are flying in La Liga right now, and they're top of the they're top of the table, only conceding 18 goals, one of the best defenses in Europe, and of course scoring 60 also. And in the Champions League, top of their group with Napoli, uh, uh, Berlin, Braga. They 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 were they are really looking good. So we're gonna look at theirs. We're gonna look at their stuff too. They have been flying, ladies and gentlemen. You look at this team right here. They are looking on point. But the thing we need to speak about is their opponent. Their opponent is going to be a certain Manchester City. 
a certain Manchester City who they have faced previously. They have faced uh, Manchester City previously. They have lost to Manchester City previously in the Champions League. These two, uh, the last couple of times they've played each other, you can see right there, Man City slapped them 4-1. They also drew 1-1. They did come back and have that beautiful comeback against them in 2022 when they went on to go win it. But of course, Man City also beat them 4-3. So this will be a close tie, but I do believe Man City have that edge over them because they did recently just thump them for four. So it is it is going to be an interesting tie, but I'm not even going to have to break down Man City stuff. I do believe Man City are going to beat Real Madrid. And this is just surely based on another year uh, of, of more experience with some of these players and the fact that they now have that Champions League hoodoo off their back. So I do believe Man City will go through in that tie. Now, going back to this tie here, at this point now, we're basically going based off of uh, what I feel is going to happen in this tie. And I think this is going to be a much different tie than, than the others. Atletico Madrid are probably the most rugged, hardworking, like physical, and they just make your time a lot harder than other teams, the way that they defend and the way that they play. So I think PSG are, are this is the type of team that could dismantle a PSG and will find a way to stop Mbappe, even though I believe Barcelona wouldn't be able to, because Barcelona play a very open style of football where Atletico Madrid will be defensive first. I, I could see this being like a nil-nil in one of the games and then Atletico Madrid getting by by like a 2-1 victory in the other. So I, I just do believe Atletico Madrid will have too much for PSG on the day. And so far, my predictions, have uh, I feel like, are quite fair. And you know what? Almost like the favorites are winning in all of these ties. But then you have Arsenal, Man City. Will my bias come into play, ladies and gentlemen? Will my bias come into play? You know what? Arsenal could win the uh, Champions League. Stop it. Get some help. You know what? Maybe I need to chill. Maybe I need to chill. I need to chill a little bit because you never know. Arsenal could win the Champions League. Arsenal could win the Premier League. We are playing Man City right now. Say, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Yeah, I gotta relax. I can't, I can't, I can't be freaking overdoing it. So I'm gonna chill for a second and I'm gonna say this. If Arsenal get Man City in the Champions League and the first leg is away a at the Etihad, we have a better chance. But overall, the reality is Man City have the experience in the Champions League. Man City are, are the better team and Man City would probably beat us over two legs. We have beaten them twice this season in the league, so I would have more confidence against them versus Real Madrid. Yeah, I'll repeat that again. I would have more confidence against Man City over Real Madrid. But if we do get to a final and we face Atletico Madrid, we beat them. If Man City goes to the final and they get uh, face Atletico Madrid, they, they probably beat them. So in this situation, I'm going to keep it 100% real. And I'm just going to tell you guys, Man City probably beat us in the semifinals of the Champions League. And if we face Real Madrid, they probably beat us also. I, I, I do believe if we somehow get past the semifinals, we'd be favorites to win it. But the reality situation is I don't think we get to the Champions League final this year. We just don't have enough experience in the competition and uh, ability to get to. I, I just don't know if we have what it takes to get to the final, Honest, honestly. I backed this team to go on to win the Premier League, but the Champions League is a whole different test that I just don't know if we're going to be able to pass. And then the final, if it, it's in English soil, Man City love Wembley. Massive advantage to Manchester City uh, uh, being, uh, being in England for the final. I think they've played Atletico Madrid over two legs in the past and they did beat them. I think it would be a very cagey one or two, one one nil or two one win to Manchester City in the final. And I think Man City win the Champions League. Can Arsenal win the Champions League? If we're facing Atletico Madrid in the final and we get to the final, I think we win it. Atletico Madrid is not the kind of team you want to play though. I'd rather play a PSG or a Barcelona, but hey, the reality is I just don't think we're going to win it this year. I'm going to keep it a buck with you guys. But yeah, I do think Man City win the Champions League once again. And this is my prediction. So my final predictions. There you go. Um, one second. There are my final predictions just to show you guys uh, what, I've, what I've gone with for my final predictions. 
no, it is not Arsenal. It is um, Manchester City Atletico Madrid final and Atletico Madrid to lose to Manchester City as Manchester City win another Champions League. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my insight and hopefully you guys feel like I kept it real because sometimes you guys think I'm, del I'm a delusional Arsenal fan, but I can show you guys that I'm clearly not. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'm out, ladies and gentlemen. Peace. Catch you guys on the next one.